Hello everyone, in this video I'll be hunting the Azura Palace. To get to the palace, I'll be showing the quickest way from Port Hope Depot. If you have the rank of Ranger in the Pawn First Society, which requires 20 points through the Killing of the Name of Quest, you can take the ferries I am showing. You will travel to the East Ferry, then you can travel from here to the Mountain Pass. If you do not have the ferry access, you'll have to run through the jungle or walk through the Mountain Pass from Anchorman. The mirror spawn is better for higher levels, the palace will be better if you're a low level and not yet ready for the mirror. While hunting the spawn, you will find Dawnfire Azura, Frostflower Azura, Midnight Azura, and Hellspawns. As a paladin, you should be able to start hunting this spawn around level 250. The experience can still be decent if the loot has been nerfed by CIP over the years. While hunting here, I used one powerful crit, two powerful life leech, two powerful mana leech, and an intricate magic level imbue, which I always have on my coif. I'd recommend using Thunderstorms, as they will be the most effective rune on all Azuras. I was overleveled for this spawn, so I was just using mana potions. If you are a lower level, you may want to bring some spirit potions for emergencies. It's also important to wear a dwarven ring here, as the Azuras will make you drunk. I wouldn't focus on killing all the frost flower Azuras, as they can be a pain, but you can try to trap them in corners or use Divine Dazzle to turn them into melee fighters temporarily. While hunting here, I was making 3.5 to 3.7 million experience per hour on 150% and between 2 to k to 50k per hour profit, not counting the cost of abuse. The loot here definitely isn't as good as it used to be. Based off the input analyzer, the max DPS I received is 1982. I was receiving 40% damage from Midnight Azura, 25% damage from Hellspawn, 20% damage from Dawnfire Azura, and 12-14% damage from Frostflower Azura. Typically, I was receiving 70% physical damage, 11-14% death damage, and 6-8% fire damage. You will also take some Ice, Life Drain, and Mana Drain damage, but they are all under 5%. You will definitely want to focus on physical protection. Other than that, a bow of Cataclysm can be nice if you don't have a Falcon Bow, the Moon Mirror would be the best arrow slot item to wear here. There are a total of 125 charm points available to unlock all of the creatures here. Hellspawn, Midnight Azura, and Frostflower Azura will each take 1000 kills and award 25 charm points, while the Dawnflower Azura will take 2500 kills, rewarding 50 charm points. Based on my estimates in this spawn, it would take 16 hours to complete Dawnfire Azura, 5 hours to complete Midnight Azura, 11 hours to complete Frostflower Azura, and 5 hours to complete Hellspawn. Depending on your level, you just want to skip over the spawn and go right to the mirror spawn, and you can finish any Azura bestiary in there. Hopefully this video can help you become familiar with the spawn. If you have any questions, or if you try to spawn out for yourself, let me know in the comments. It would be helpful to see how different vocations and level ranges are able to handle it. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, Leave a comment below as well help me out. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.